What's up, you two? Leon here, and today, new character dropped for Guilty Gear Strive. So, uh, we're gonna take a look at him to see his moves and stuff. Uh, I already did take a look at him beforehand, so I don't have to like do a lot of stuff, but here he is Gold Lewis Dickinson. Uh, he takes the bottom row. I, I was actually expecting him to take the top row, but uh, bottom row it is then. In this Behemoth Typhoon. Okay, before we take a look at Behemoth Typhoon, um, as you can see, he's a big character. He's very tall, almost reaches the health bars. Not as tall as Faust. But uh, first things first is movement. Fairly decent walk speed, but also he has a run. Not a very unexpected for a character who's this big. And a back dash. He has a forward run and a back dash. They're, they're pretty fast. Not like super fast, but they're kind of fast. His back dash probably isn't that great, it looks like. Probably get punished on that, like a whiff punish. But uh, also, no double jump. But uh, back air forward and back dashes from a big character like this. Remember, Nago can't do this. Hakuman doesn't have a run, you know, that, that character from Blaze Blue. I, mean, I don't even think Hakuman has an air dash, right? Yeah, alright, so uh, his normals uh, punch does not combo into itself, surprisingly. You can't combo into punch punch. You can combo into forward punch. But only at certain ranges. If it's like at the end of it, it won't combo. Kind of like, um, uh, who's the other character who has like a forward punch that kind of hits high? And you can't even combo into his forward punch, so that doesn't even count. But uh, yeah, you have to be kind of close to combo into forward punch. And uh, one of the few characters that has a link. Uh, crouching punch, and the crouching punch is a link. You can link. That's super weird, right? A Guilty Gear character with a link. Uh, another weird one is his kick. Just 5k. Very weird hitting move. It looks like it hits low. Let's test it. Not at all. It hits low. It's a low hitting standing kick. Right, I think that that's all of the, the command normals. So forward P of course and uh, forward heavy slash. Before we go to forward heavy slash, far slash looks very good, very fast. And will combo into any behemoth typhoon I believe. Or the quick behemoth typhoon. Uh, close slash is his shoulder chest. And then heavy slash. The uh, crouching kick. I believe he can... Yeah, I think that's universal. Everyone can kind of combo into dust from kick. Or go into dust from kick. So his jab is actually not amazing. He doesn't have like a really good fast normal that he can com confirm off of. And uh, yeah, we could do that too. Close slash in the dust. That works. And then his uh, forward... His other command normal, forward heavy slash. <laughs> he just falls on his back. Crashing heavy slash, that's a pretty good animation, right? Cammy's a... Uh, what was it, like, down forward heavy kick or something? Yeah, for a big guy, he's pretty, pretty athletic. Look at this. Alright, so now let's get into specials. Of course, of course we want to see the specials. Uh, the one that everyone's going to go to, usually in a regular block string or something, will be a half circle back. And uh, I think every version of Behemoth Typhoon is safe on block because 
each move does a guard break. So blocking this character is not favorable. If you're blocking this character, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be uh, eating it. And look at the damage. So this is a regular slash, right? Uh, 39 damage. This is a block behemoth typhoon. You might as well got like you might as well just get hit. If it does the same amount of damage almost. This chip damage is pretty ridiculous. This character seems pretty good. I'm not sure yet, because I'm I'm gonna take him out, out online just to try him out. But this behemoth typhoon pressure, kind of crazy. But yeah, um, the way behemoth typhoon works, I just like been messing with him for like an hour. So um, pretty much the direction you want your coffin to go in, that's pretty much the uh, the input you want. So half circle back is that is that move. Uh, half circle forward is this. Uh, and these are both mid hitting. All right, yeah, they're both mid hitting. So the easy inputs, the easy half circles are are both mid. And then the more weird ones like uh, these ones, uh, I kind of made a method to say like these inputs. So doing like an overhead. I would call it like top half circle forward. So top half circle forward, if I can even put that, is the overhead. And with the with this overhead, you can actually get interrupted if, if you're blocking. So if you're blocking and they're trying to go for overhead, you can interrupt it, but you have to see it. It's a very fast overhead too. Like that's hard to react to. But in my testing, a lot of characters can like uh, punish it with slash. See, it's it's really slow, but see, you can't like uh, do anything really. But the problem, well, you could do that too. <laughs> they can't really go for a move if you do the half circle back. The regular half circle back. They can't go for a move. But if you try to do the overhead one and someone's mashing, you're gonna get counter hit. That's just like the main point. So what motion I'm going for is left half circle down. So that's what I'm gonna call. So left half circle down is this this motion. And that's that's low. So le left half circle down would be the low. And I think the side switch version is uh, left half circle <coughs> up. I just woke up, so my voice is just like dead. Yeah, so that's the side switch. I'm not sure what you could get off of it. Oh yeah, and of course you could do all these in the air, but there's no guard break in the air. So if you do like, if you just have them block, it seems like the the air versions are punishable. And let's actually test it, right? We gotta test these things. Actually, I don't think they're punishable. How from a high? Okay, so if you if you're doing a high jump. You're gonna get punished. Damn, okay, so these are... It's not your turn if you're doing the air versions of these moves. Uh, so one of the properties of Behemoth Typhoon Half Circle Forward is a wall bounce. So if we do this here... Or is it Half Circle Back? Okay, half circle forward. 
Has to go forward wall bounces when they're uh, close to the wall. But the damage you get from it is kind of ridiculous if I can get the Hasticle to come out. Hasticle right up, you know. And uh, also from like a raw one into super, does a grip, right? That's a ridiculous. You get one of these raw, you better just like buffer super. Right? And we'll, we'll talk about the supers in a bit, but let's go on to the um, the other special moves. First special move is this move called Mine uh, Thunderbird. So Thunderbird is the mine. This is for setups, of course. I like do something like this. If they're dust, if they're blocking, you know. Thunderbird into low, and they have to guess. Or like even Thunderbird grab. That's the those are the options you're gonna have from from this move. And of course it depends on the security level, which is the meter at the bottom. Uh, the higher the meter is, the better version comes out. So if you have level three, this thing will go full screen and hit like three times. Four times. Jesus. So yeah, just just meant for setups, you do like load dust into that you know it's pretty pretty simple stuff maybe into like whatever behemoth typhoon right and then of course the next one is the skyfish 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 which is the big chain gun and uh, i don't know any applications for it because it doesn't combo into anything, but it seems like a really good projectile. Stays out for a really long time, does a lot of chip. It's pretty neat. I'm pretty sure you can do like um, wall bounce into it, maybe. Yeah, something like that. But again, the wall bounce is super inconsistent. I don't know, I'm not the, not the biggest fan. But yeah, the, it probably do something like that and uh, that's it for the those ones and let's talk about his hammer of dawn the one in the trailer that was like hammer dawn it's four circle forward kick I think is it am I going crazy so this is not as good as I thought it was right it doesn't track the, the character it's really good for uh, full screen stuff right so if you're full screen, it's really good for that, but it's slow. So like if they see you do it, they could just run to you. They'll run up to you. On knockdown, so you get a knockdown. What are you gonna do, Scott? Do one of these, I guess? It's not as good as like what the trailer showed is what I'm trying to say, I guess. I guess you could do like this into it like you get a random hit something like that and not only that it's also on security level too so the higher your security level the the better it is or the more hits it has because if you do at level one let's say right if i can get it out my inputs are not good so that's level one doesn't doesn't do much and I think the startup too is longer the higher your security level like it takes so long for it to come out at level 3 and then uh, down with the system which can be done two ways or three ways essentially and uh, it's just this one this is level 1 it does a lot of damage for a raw super it does a lot Uh, the other versions, you'd have to do 720 motion, so the other version will be ready. Okay, do it right? I can't tell. Unless I am doing the level 2 version, I, I can't tell. 195 versus the regular version? 
179. So yeah, it is doing a, a little more damage when I do the 360 one, but there's the ultimate version, which, which is 3 1080. You can tell because his glasses break. If I can actually get this version up. Did I do it? Okay. So that's level 3. And it has 215 for like a 1 bar super. Half 50 per whatever. 50 tension. And the thing with that too is, uh, you know the animation where he starts pulling stuff out? He like pulls stuff out of his coffin, right? He's fully invincible when he does that. So here we go. So if we if we do like a knockdown, right, into like something like this. He's like fully invincible. It's pretty ridiculous. Look at that. Fully invincible when you're taking stuff out of the coffin and you eat half your HP. People are going to be whooping on the suit. Right? They're gonna be like, damn, let me let me spin my stick around real quick. It's kinda ridiculous. Yeah, that's that's Gold Lewis. Then try him out online a little bit. Let's go try him out. Damn. Let's try this. <laughs> it, it looks like our very first matches, because he's also level one. Potato Gamer 67. Let's go, Potato Gamer. Let's see what Gold Lewis has. Why is the roll rollback frame so bad? No, the the frames are so bad right now. I'm oh, sorry, man. I know I know we're at like 50 ms, but my god, are we both on a Wi-Fi or something? <laughs> that was sick. The connection was so bad, though. <laughs> Okay, please don't be laggy. I'm praying to the Jesus. Please. Oh! I wish. Oh, back at you. Watch this. <laughs> Freaking ridiculous, right? <laughs> Ow! Oh, did that all combo? Because I'm so fat. <laughs> I did the wrong combo. Oh! <laughs> that was the first time I saw that. <laughs> oh! I did low. Watch this. Let me do one of these. <laughs> Let me do one of these. <laughs> this character is pretty fun. I think every character is fun to play, right? In this game. There hasn't been a character that I'm like, nah, nah, not really. Look at that damage. Look 
kind of ridiculous, right? This character is ridiculous. <laughs> ah! That's all I. Oh my god, he died. He died. <laughs> Ow. This character does so much damage. Yeah, I didn't order any pizza. Nice dude. That was a good read. Am I dead? I'm still alive. I'm dead. I'm still alive. Damn the chip damage. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just having a lot of fun. Uh, learning a new character is always like super eventful. So, uh, I remember when Street Fighter V, like every time Street Fighter V had a new character, I was always excited to play because it's like, this could change everything, right? Unfortunately in Street Fighter V there wasn't like a character that really like, um, that really stuck. Oh god, it's the Axel player. Oh god, Axel. I don't know how to fight Axel with like a regular character. How am I supposed to do it with a character I never even played before? Oh, I press grab, I swear to god. I press grab, I swear to god. I was trying to beat the grab. You didn't grab. This gun. Ah, it didn't work. Burst baited. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's kind of sick, right? <laughs> it still comes out. That's pretty sick. Hey! Oh, that was bad. That was a bad. Go get him! Please laser me! Please! <laughs> Wake up grab. Let's go. You can't burst me against this guy. Or you can't burst against this guy. It's so hard. This character is sick, right? I did the little little bomb thing. This character is sick. Heavy machine gun.
This character is sick. Right, this character is a hell of a sick. At first I was kind of like, I don't know. I saw like the trailer and I'm like, I don't know about this character. This character is kind of sick, right? Oh. What is my half circle? I did it with passion. I did it with passion. I did it with half circle left up with passion. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ridiculous. Right, so that was like first impressions of Mr. Gold Lewis Dickinson. Uh, very fun character. Uh, I've been playing him pretty much all day today and pretty much just put this together real quick so I can have something for YouTube but uh, if I were gonna say where uh, Gold Lewis stands right now I think Gold Lewis is very mid tier after fighting uh, my friends for like a few hours we we're just like sitting and just playing uh, Gold Lewis kind of sits in mid middle tier and that's because I think certain matchups for Gold Lewis it are probably just really tough matchups uh, a lot of gold lewis's buttons aren't that great his best button is probably uh far slash probably his best button into half circle back uh behemoth typhoon that's pretty much like your string that you're gonna go to um pretty oppressive and it's safe and deals a ton of chip damage if uh, if the opponent is not empty but outside of that a lot of gold lewis's regular buttons just are really short really short and stubby it's very difficult for him to get in for certain matchups uh, especially when i was playing against my friend who was playing as a, a temkin and uh Atemkin's buttons just beat out a lot of Gold Lewis's buttons, so I had to guess a lot uh, in neutral with this character versus Potemkin. And I would believe against really good Milia or really really good chip players that Gold Lewis is going to be ha having a very tough time landing the one hit he needs to, you know, do do some damage. Uh, in terms of special moves, his chain gun, uh, which is a Skyfish. Is that the chain gun? The chain gun move loses a lot of versatility because whenever you use those types of special moves, it takes away your security level. And uh, even at level three, the chain gun just doesn't do that much. People can jump over and air dash and hit you for a counter hit combo. Um, and all you really get is some chip. The damage on hit isn't that great either for level 3 chain gun. It's just not a move that's that great. No, uh, Not a very high reward and it takes away a resource. That takes a pretty long time to get to level 3. But on the other hand, the mine... Um, I don't know what it's called. But the, the mine is re really good. Very good get in tool, especially at level 3. And. Uh, a lot of times I would just wait for a level 3 bomb. Most of the time I just like throw out bomb whenever I have level 3. And uh, I think that's probably his main game plan. If the neutral is really not in his favor. Um, probably at neutral bomb would be very good. Um, but it would be harder in matchups where rushdown characters involved. You can't just throw out bomb. 
it takes some time to have bomb come out and uh, the best use of course is knockdown or approaching a character from very far away like a, maybe like an axle player maybe just throw bomb out another problem with bomb is if you get hit at the start at the start of it up of the uh, attack it just uh, it goes away it just goes away which sucks um, his supers I really do think down with the system is one of the really good reversal supers kind of like Rams reversal super especially when you turn the butter you turn that butter it's ridiculous damage is crazy uh, his laser super I think I have to go into training mode and figure out some stuff with it but I do think it's really good Again, the only problem is that it uses up security level as well. So, depending on your security level, the laser uh, lasts either a really short time or a fairly decent amount of time, like like a second or two. And uh, it's really good for a lockdown and then high-low mix-up. If you're really cheeky, you could uh, send it out, do super on a like a neutral position. And if the opponent is just like kind of sitting back anticipating it and just trying to block it, you can maybe like run up and grab him or something. Something cheeky like that. Uh, outside of that, Gold Lewis is really fun, but you need execution. If you don't have very good execution, a lot of times Behemoth Typhoon is not going to come out. That's his go-to move. Um, half circle back, half circle forward, and the other slightly less useful half circles he has a side switch half circle which i didn't really find a lot of use in in like a, a typical match uh, his overheads are very hard to do in the heat of battle in training mode i can kind of get him out but it's still very inconsistent um, it's one of the few special moves that require you to do the the full motion so if you're not doing the full half circle motion um it just won't come out half the time. It's very difficult. But I think with time, uh, with a lot of time and people finding tech with the character, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really cool. But so far, he's surprisingly high execution. Even just doing far slash half circle back takes a lot of uh, energy in my arm. Uh, after that out three hour session with my friend, we're just playing my arm got sore from doing half circles. It was pretty ridiculous. But um, yeah, he's pretty he's pretty cool. Uh, he, he was not a disappointment. I was actually very much expecting him to be just very whatever. But I'm glad that he exceeded my expectations. He's really, really fun. Would I main him? Probably not. But I think just playing him every once in a while would be a lot of fun. He is a very fun character. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.